In January 2018, the International Crop Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics ICRISAT launched the project enabling value chains to create sustainable income for vulnerable people in crop livestock system of Burkina Faso and Niger for a three years period. Implemented in partnership with the University of Florida, CNRA of Niger, INERA of Burkina Faso, ILRI, and funded by USAID, this project aims at increasing the productivity of crop livestock farming system while generating sustainable incomes for vulnerable population by developing sustainable value chain and improving the market system. Objective, improve the resilience of smallholders, farmers, and fight against poverty. The first objective is to improve animal health and feeding systems by using local available feed such as millet stover, kopi hay, and groundhog home. The second objective of the project is to create business around crop livestock value chains. The third objective is to develop possible profitable scenarios to improve crop livestock systems. In two and a half years of implementation, the project has tested various varieties such as cereals and legumes as fodder for animals in order to improve animal nutrition in Niger. One of our targets is to be able to develop feeding strategies based on varieties that have been developed at Ikrizad. We have identified two best dual-purpose millet varieties that can be used as fodder for sheep to improve their productivity. We will disseminate the two varieties for adoption by small remnant livestock farmers. In this first phase, a lot has been achieved by the project in the department of Torodi and in the region of Maradi in Niger and in the region of Centre Nord and the region of Sahel in Burkina Faso. We have created business around the value chain using a participative approach, innovation platform. The unavailability of livestock feeds in Torodi and the growing feed market in Maradi encourage the project to support livestock farmers and feed traders in the region of Maradi and Torodi to develop business around feed to take advantage of opportunities existing in both sides. With the support of the project, actors involved agree to create and manage the small market on feed value chain collecting feed at Maradi for selling at Torodi. Despite the 900 kilometers long distance between the two sites, approximately 12.6 tons of feed priced at 3,600 US dollars were sold in less than six months. In the last two years, my way of raising my animals has changed. The feed constraint I used to face has been resolved. I have been put in contact with feed traders from Maradi. We have been supported with a chopping machine for millet stover. The project has also initiated smart marketing activities of small ruminants which aim at providing technical assistance to livestock farmers of Torodi and Maradi to present good quality animals for the Tabaski. The project put us in contact with livestock traders who came in our community to buy our sheet. We were able to sell a sheet at $252 for a sheet. We would have normally sold at no more than $168. Economic models are developed around technologies allowing producers to improve their incomes by producing and commercializing very profitable products such as lucerne, alfalfa. I started the production of lucerne with a loan of $294 that I spent the loan in drilling and others. But in two months, I paid off my loan. Today, I managed to cover my family expenses. The project trained 98 farmers on silage making technology to improve storage condition and quality of crop resides. Examples, millet stover. Ikrizat is happy with the project and the donor, USAID, as well. Improving crop livestock value chains is the key to improve agricultural productivity in the Sahel of West Africa.